Hello everyone, this is Ronnie uh, today with a new tutorial about Canva. So first of all, thank you for joining the group. This group is growing very fast and I'm very satisfied about this. So thank you all for accepting the invitation and uh, be part of the group. Um, so I'm going to try to create small tutorials like this one regularly, but also feel free to ask questions in the group or to share some of your latest designs so you can get a feedback from our growing community. So today I want to show you something that I particularly appreciate about Canva and that not many people know about and this is the use of colors. So here I'm creating a design, I'm creating a visual for a Facebook event. I want to host an event about online instructors. So I live here in a city in Chiang Mai in Thailand uh, where I would like to connect with other instructors, other people who teach online. So I'm organizing this event, hoping to connect, but also learn, exchange with these other uh, online teachers. And so to have like a regular meetup where we can all learn from one another. So uh, I want to create this event, put it on Facebook and share it in different groups. And um, yeah, just share it with people so that I can attract a good bunch of people for next Monday uh, attend this event. So what I want to show you, I want to replace these three um, color rectangles here by different colors. And so the feature I want to show you is called colors. So if you go canva.com slash colors with an S, you will land on this page. And this page is pretty cool. It has a lot of different colors and this is our starting point. You can also access this um, section of the Canva website by going in the footer and in under resources, you just click on colors and you will get to the same page. So you can start with typing the name of a color or you can just explore some of the colors you have here and find something you like. So um, I like this lime green here. So if I click on this, Canva is going to give me first kind of like a degradé, like a gradient of uh, these colors. Within the middle, you will have the green color that you selected. And what's very cool about this is if you click on it, it will be copied to your uh, cache memory. So that's your clipboard. So that's pretty, pretty useful because now I can just go back to my design, select the color, plus button, and then paste the color right here. And now I have my lime green color from uh, this color palette, which is pretty cool. But what's even cooler is that Canva is giving me a choice uh, of different color palette that go well together. Um, so for example, this one, if I, it's called Lucky Lime, let's see this combination. It's nice. It gives you also like a visual that goes with these kinds of colors. And if I want to use this yellow green color here, I can click on it. And again, it will be copied to my clipboard so I can paste it here now without any difficulty, I would say so like this. And maybe I need some kind of darker color for here. I don't have to stick with these exact colors here. I can um, go back to colors, for example, and find a gray that I like. Um, yeah, let's try something like this. So here I have my gradient of grays and I like this one a little bit darker. So let's, let's see, I need to select the color here, add a new color, boom. All I have to do is change the text because now it's too dark. I'll change this for white and actually I wanted the gray to be here. So I'll repeat this, sorry, uh, just put my gray here, change this to white and this, I wanted this, this color and maybe my text as well in gray. Okay, looks decent. Um, all right, so this was just a small tutorial about showing you how to use the color feature of Canva. So canva.com slash colors, you will land on this page. And I really suggest that you play around with these colors, you, you explore them because the color combinations that Canva offers here, and they have tons of more color palettes to, um, to share with you. It is pretty useful. It is usually I start my designs with um, finding a color palette. So doesn't matter if I have to create a, like only one visual, be it a Facebook uh, event cover or Facebook post or whatever. 
I will try to find an interesting color palette to start with so I have something. I don't have to reinvent the wheel, I'm just using the work of somebody else's um, good taste in terms of design. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Share it with your friends. Invite other people in the group if you find the information useful and I will see you very soon.